Ahoy, Marys! In this video, I'm going to reveal the techniques on how to create a collage animation by only using Premiere Pro. Make sure to stick around and snag some valuable tips. So what we're going to do here is make the letters animate up. Let's start with the letter C. Let's add a transform effect to this letter. It's in the distort folder. Drag it to the letter C. And then from the effects control window, toggle the animation for position. Maybe we'll try 10 frames. And then toggle the position animation again. Go to the start. And then change the vertical keyframe to make it go down. Let's see the animation. It's moving a bit fast, but I think it's okay. If you notice in the example that I played, there is a stop motion effect on the letters. We can achieve that by adding the posterized time effect. Uh, we first have to nest the clip in order for this to work. Because as you can see, if we add the posterized time here, drag it to the letter C. Let's change the frame rate to 6. And as you can see, the letter is morphing. I don't know what's happening there. To fix that, as what I've said, we first have to nest the clip and then add the posterized time effect. Make the frame rate 6. And then it will have the stop motion effect. Usually when I'm encountering a problem in Premiere Pro, the solution is nesting the clip. We just have to apply the effects that we've created in the letter C to the remaining letters D, A, P, and T. What we added in this C was the transform effect. Let's copy that first. Let's open the nested letter C. Double click. Get the transform effect. Copy and paste. Copy first. And then let's paste it to the A, P, and T. Edit. Paste. It's really tempting to use the keyboard shortcuts. I'm avoiding it since we're making a tutorial. The letters are moving up smoothly. I have to nest it and apply the posterize time. Right click on the letter A and then select nest. Yeah, I'll just use the shortcut for the other letters. And then let's copy the posterize time effect from the letter C. Right click copy. Then select the other letters. Paste. So we have this stop motion effect on the letters. If you're starting a project like this one, I would suggest that you make the layout first. I mean position the elements first in your canvas and then from there you can animate next. So with this paper unfold effect, it's actually a template that I've made using After Effects. So this is the motion graphics template that I've created. You just need to drag the picture. The image will have a paper unfold effect. It also comes with sound effects. So with this skull animation, I also did the same effect. It also has a stop motion effect. If you are curious where I got the assets for this project, it's from PNG Egg. For this one, the finger flick animation, if I remove the ultra key, you'll see that it has a green screen background. I forgot where I got this. I think a motion array is offering this template. With this one, it has a stop motion effect wiggle on the letters. Firstly, I just move the clips 5 frames apart. Let's just do that. So let's select the N and D. Press Alt and Shift and arrow keys. 5 frames and select the letter D. 5 frames, Alt, Shift and then right arrow keys. It will have this effect. And then to add the stop motion wiggle effect, let's start from scratch. Again, we will add a transform effect here. Transform in the distort folder. Add that to the letter E. So let's select the letter E. And then using the transform effect, we will move the position keyframe. So we will just make random position keyframes. So with this one, I'll move it a bit on the right. Right and a bit up. Again, let's move 5 frames. Let's move that again randomly. This time, I'll move it to the left and a bit down. Then 5 frames again. Maybe up to the left again. 5 frames and then right. So once we have maybe 4 keyframes, you can just copy that. Copy. Move 5 frames again. Paste. Let's check out the movement. So as you can see, it has a smooth movement. In order to achieve the stop motion effect, select all of your keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, and select hold. And now it will have the stop motion effect. Now let's move on with stylizing the graphics that we have. With this one, as you can see, this skull has this halftone effect right here. 
Let's just turn off the other layers. Let's check this nested image of the skull. Double click to open. So the nested clip in the middle is the half tone image. If I disable that, you'll see it's a half tone pattern. You can search it online, just search for half tone pattern and you can get it for free. What I did here was then start from scratch. Let's get this skull image. Hold the Alt, hold with your mouse, you can make a duplicate. So let's get the half tone pattern. You have to put the half tone pattern below. Once again, you have to nest because I experience when I don't nest the image, I don't get the outcome that I want. You have to nest it to avoid error. So I have to nest. And then from there, you will add the track mat key to the half tone pattern. And then target the video 3. So as you can see, <laughs> it disappeared. Oh so yeah, that happened because we have a black background, but duplicate the skull layer. Hold Alt and hold your left mouse button. Place it below and tada, you have the halftone pattern. You remember the halftone pattern that I have here was color purple and also show how to do that. Let's get the tint effect, add it to the halftone pattern. Right now it's set to black and white, so let's just select it's pink. <laughs> you have a pink halftone pattern. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more content.